The Bridge to Smart Design. Thank you for using Moldex 3D eDesign Sync 4NX. Moldex 3D eDesign Sync 4NX is an easy to use interface fully embedded into NX, providing a seamless workflow from design to Moldex 3D simulation. With the interactive platform, it brings unique features and benefits to NX users. Features and Benefits The seamless workflow improves the modeling and simulation interpretability. The automatic True 3D meshing engine. The easy to navigate user interface and intelligent process wizards. Full of support modules of Moldex 3D eDesign. Support of parallel processing for multi-core and multi-CPU. First, we will introduce the steps to import a model. After executing NX 7.5, click on File and Open to select a part file, then click Open to import the model. Users can select and import any solid part file. After importing the model, to start the preprocessing settings for the CAD model, please click the Moldex 3D tab, which will show on the top of the menu. Our moves will all be completed under the Moldex 3D eDesign Sync tab within the NX environment. As you can see, Moldex 3D eDesign Sync provides a step-by-step -step workflow to guide our users to complete the pre-processing workflow efficiently. For this model, there is a solid part model and two kinds of line structures representing runner lines and cooling channels. We will set the part material properties first and then do the step-by-step -step for 3D pre-processing settings of runner, mold base, and cooling channels according to the 2D line structures. Now we will set up the part material. First, double click the part icon to set up the part material. Left click on part module and press OK. Then click select material and pick a desired material from the drop down menu to be used for the simulation. Moldex 3D eDesign Sync supports a complete material database with more than 5,000 materials. Moldex 3D also supports fiber reinforced materials to perform fiber orientation simulation. For this demo, we choose the common ABS material. You can also click on the advanced function to see the detailed database information. Right click add to project and confirm the material setting before clicking OK. After the selection, you can see the material information for the part. Now we will set up the part insert properties. Moldex 3D eDesign Sync provides part insert features. If your part contains a part insert, you can set the material for the part insert here. Since there is no part insert in this model, we will go to the next step to set up a runner diameter. Now we will set up a runner diameter. First you can set the runner parameter according to your model size. We will create direct gate for this model. For this demo, this will be a tapered sprue with a nozzle diameter of 3 millimeters and a gate size of 1.2 millimeters. To do this, please double click the runner icon. Now select a runner line and click OK. By default, the runner type and diameter have already been set as a cold runner and are 5 millimeters as shown here. We will change the nozzle diameter to 3 millimeters and click OK. Next, double click on the Runner 1 object. Here we change the diameter at the red end to 1.2 millimeters and click OK to confirm the setting. Now you will see that a solid sprue runner has been created. After completing the steps to set up the runners, we will start to set up the mold base size and material double click the mold base icon to set up its size and material. The mold base setting will provide a recommended default value according to your model size. You can also define the size of the mold base on your own according to your design. For the mold base size, we will change the value of X, Y, and Z axis to 200 millimeters, 200 millimeters, and 100 millimeters. Then click on select material to continue. Here we use the default material for the mold material, then click OK to confirm the settings. Next we will talk about mold insert. Moldex 3D eDesign Sync can also support a mold insert. This function is the same as the part insert. It is optional. 
Since there is no insert in this model, we will go to the next step to set up cooling channel diameter. Set up cooling channel diameter. Double click on the cooling channel icon to set up the diameter. Select the cooling lines and click OK. Here you can see the appropriate parameters according to the line structure and its size. You can also design the cooling channels on your own. For this demo, we define the diameter of cooling channels as 10 millimeters to complete the setting. Click OK. Now we have finished the solid CAD model setting. Create a melt entrance. Moldex 3D eDesign provides the automatic melt entrance setting function. Here you can activate it to generate